So welcome back friends. I don't know if this is going to be a main video, more like maybe a supplemental video, but I was really encouraged to hear how many folks are following along uh, with uh, trying to get our, you know, trying to eat a little bit healthier and, and try some new things. You know, I, uh, I guess I wanted to share my story. So, I mean, I will be turning, I'll be turning 50 next year. And uh, a lot of folks may chalk this up to midlife, cri midlife crisis, and maybe that's what it is. If that's what it takes to get you motivated, but that's, uh, that's fine with me. But I kind of feel like uh, a decision can be made. And, and that decision was to either start buying bigger clothes and just accept the fact that uh, uh, I'm going to put on a few pounds and be a little less active and go down that road, or not. Uh, or uh, take a little bit more control, uh, put in a little effort, maybe a little bit of discipline, um, and stop eating so many things that are that are bad for me. So I decided to go to take the high road, and um, a lot of you guys are kind of interested in this, and so we'd share it together. So I uh, guess what uh, to, to to go back a little bit. So I, I got up. I was getting up around 210 pounds or so. I'm six foot four, 210 pounds. That's a little heavy for me. Uh, I'm not a very bulky person. Uh, I think when I graduated high school, I was probably about 165 or so. Um, usually wear about a 34 inch waist and I started buying, you know, pants that are 36, you know, not because I, I, I just because I'm getting fat, <laughs> getting a belly. So like, okay, let's, let's get back to the, let's get down to the, about the 185, 190 or so, put on some muscle, you know, get a little bit stronger uh, and, and eat a little bit better. So what am I doing? Well, I, it's, I, I'm not... I, I, I'm not saying it's a diet, you know, I mean, diets, that's a temporary thing. And I have the discipline. I can, I can go and not eat for a week and just drink water and, and lose 15 pounds. Uh, but, you know, that's not something that's uh, very sustainable, obviously. Uh, so what I've decided to do is, um, is I'm just eating kind of one meal a day. But one thing that really helps uh, is I found this guy, I don't remember his name, but he makes, uh, he has a recipe that I got for, uh, it's called Bulletproof, Bulletproof Coffee. And he puts a little bit of butter and some uh, special coconut oil in the coffee. And that really helps when you're having one meal a day because that little bit of fat in the coffee, um, it really sustains you. It's, it's amazing how, um, oh, I guess, how, uh, uh, how it stops the hunger craving. And then um, I'm, I'm having one meal around just afternoon, you know, like 1, 1 30, 2 o'clock or so, of pretty much anything I want. One thing that I'm doing different, though, is that um, I, I'm not really restricting myself to, oh, I have to eat just a vegan or a plant-based diet or anything like that. For my one meal, I'm having something that I really like. That might be uh, steak, steak and potatoes. That might be pasta, spaghetti. You know, we might go out and eat. So, you know, I don't have to have this horrible... Uh, these horrible conditions and, and and trying to find special places to eat. What I what I have just done to keep it simple is have my bulletproof coffee in the morning, um, make a good vegetable juice, um, you know, late morning like I'm doing right now, uh, and then uh, have have a nice meal. Uh, but with the meals, what I'm not eating is I'm not eating any sugar. I'm not eating anything that's processed. No processed meats. No chips. No things like that. We're eating good stuff. So we're eating organic potatoes with some, with grass fed local beef. You know, we have, you know, everything clean and, and decent food, whatever that may be, you know, no sausages, no uh, processed food, no chips, no bread, um, nothing really from a can uh, that I don't really know what it came from. And so that's kind of what, what I'm doing. The other thing that I'm doing is, I, is um, going to, working out's always been a struggle for me and going to the gym out here, it's just not an option. And, and, taking the time out of your day when we're busy, you know, we have so many things going on and different projects. It's just hard to do. And so I found something that's really, Jack and I've been doing and I've gotten really, really good results from it. And it only takes 20 minutes. Um, and it's just using your body weight. It's kind of a, a six day exercise uh, using body weight. You do some pulling, you do some pushing, but you don't need anything, spe you don't need any tools. The only thing you need is a pull-up bar. Um, everything else can just be done using your body weight. And, and I've gotten a lot of, uh, fitter and, and stronger in just a week of doing that. So I'm excited to see. I like to have benchmarks. And the nice thing about this plan is it has benchmarks where you, you start and, and you stay at this level until you do this and then you move on to the next thing and there's an app and you can track it. And I, I kind of like that thing. It just kind of keeps me motivated and, and Jack's doing it with me. So if there's some interest, I can share that with you too. So yeah, nothing really crazy, but uh, it'll be interesting to see the results. I've already lost... Um, I've lost 10 pounds. So I, I said I was at 210. I'm down to um, 210. No, I've lost more than that. I've lost 13 pounds because I was 197. 
No, 195, 15 pounds. Yeah, 195 uh, this morning and putting on a little muscle in and just, just trimming up my pants, you know, tucked it, came, came, got a notch in my belt and all that. So uh, there's no reason at, at 50 that I shouldn't be in the best shape of my life. Um, it's just, you know, it's just lifestyle changes. So uh, I'll, I'll share videos from time to time when I can. It depends on how much interest there is, but uh, we can talk about juicers. We can talk about uh, different things um, that, that might help you along. But uh, I know we could all do a little bit better with this and, and uh, well, Maybe we can help one another out. So let's make some juice and uh, we're gonna be trying the go to green recipe today. So here's the recipe for the go to green. This is uh, from the Joe Cross book. I like this, I like this book. Uh, it seems like they have pretty good ones. I just flip through it. I take it to the store with me and uh, you know get the things that I need, you know, pick out a dozen or so. I like more of the vegetable juices and the fruit juices. Uh, so we got some spinach and some carrots, a couple apples, ribs of celery, two cucumbers. The juicer that we use is an angel. Uh, this is uh, probably, as far as the the home juicers go, it's probably about top of the line. Every time I share one of these, I, man, the hate, I get the hate from people like, you're an, you're an idiot, you know, you $1,200, $1,500 for a juicer. Well, yeah, but it's expensive juicer, but it's a, it's a, we use it every day. And we'll, we'll you know, it's, it'll last a lifetime, you know. I'll, I'll guarantee you the same guy that complains about that or makes a big stink has probably got a, a, a television or a couple televisions in his house that are worth probably two or three times that. Um, well, this is my television. We don't have a television. We have a, a $1,200 juicer. So it's a masticating juicer. So what that means is it uh, is not centrifugal. It's these gears turn. I don't know if it'll work. I can maybe show you here. It might, bad things might happen if I run it with this off, the cover off. Let's see. No, it's got safety built in. So it won't do it. But anyway, you get the point. So these, as the, everything comes in, it masticates them, and, and it really is efficient. So if you're, I mean, if you're buying expensive organic vegetables and fruits, you know, to, if your juicer is not super efficient and you're wasting a lot of it in the pulp, then you know, where's the money, where's the savings? So that's, uh, that's kind of what I think about it. I really enjoy the, the ritual of this, and it's incredible the difference. And you know, just doing this for a week or so, um, how I feel, the things I really notice are um, a clearness of of mind um, and a, a calmness, a lot calmer, I feel a lot calmer, um, much less likely to, to get uh, aggravated and frustrated. And you know, in addition to this, I'm making a, a real effort to drink a lot of water. You know, that, what that means is probably, I would say six liters or so a day. Um, if I can, not always, but I, it's kind of what I try for, but I'm drinking all the time. Um, and I've you know, just noticed that uh, sleep better. And I also have, have really been aware of the difference in sleep. Not getting enough sleep you know, really, really affects how we feel. Um, and having, spending, like being on the computer at night when the sun goes down, I mean, your body kind of is uh, attuned to start preparing for sleep naturally when that sun goes down. And when you, when I, for me anyway, when I'm in front of that computer, it seems to um, interrupt that and I don't sleep as well, definitely more fitful. So um, what, I, I've been trying to refrain from that as well. And, you know, just, uh, it's, it's just the calmness uh, alone, let alone the, the, you know, the weight loss benefits of it and the clearness of mind is, uh, is actually really enjoyable. Several of you ask about this knife. These, these, these are Victorinox knives. They're, they're some of the cheapest kitchen knives you can get. And I've got two of them and they're, they're my favorite. I'll put, I'll put a link to this in the, I'll pin it to the comments of the juicers. And I'll also, um, there's also a good juicer out there that's I think around $200 if you don't have the money to invest in a really expensive one that will get you, get you going too uh, without uh, going in debt there. So it doesn't really matter what order seems to me. I, I kind of just, uh, when I make one for myself, I like to have a big one. I'll usually drink, uh, uh, about 24 ounces or so. That's a, like a pint and a half. So I'll make two pints and then Mrs. W, she likes to have about a half a pint. Um, so I make it for the both of us. No mess this time. Look at me, I'm learning.
this is what's so cool about the angel is the byproducts. That was a, that was a lot of, a lot of veggies in there. Look at what it all comes down to. And as I said last time, it's just bone dry. This is always seems to be everyone's favorite part to watch my misery. It's hard being a super taster, but discipline equals freedom, right? Is that what Jocko tells us? It never gets better. You know, anything that tastes that bad, it's the, it's the celery. It's the celery. Anything that <coughs> tastes that bad, man, it's got to be good for you. It's got to be, got to be some good medicine. <sighs> it ain't easy being green, man. <laughs> 